Hi, I'm Denise Simbo with Dean Richards on camera and we're down here for the first time at Squamish's latest purchase, the 71 acres Nexon land with uh, Mayor Ian Sutherland. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we're kind of excited to be here even though it's a little chilly. A little bit. We're warm because yep. this is a pretty substantial day in the history of Squamish and we're excited. Tell us about it. Well, this is an exciting project for us. I mean, 71 acres of la waterfront land at the south end of downtown that we have a chance to develop in a way that will, I think, fundamentally change um, the downtown of Squamish and, and change the, the view of Squamish to the outside world. Yeah, I, I would think, um, you know, living on the ocean, it would be nice to have some accessible waterfront, and this will be one opportunity for that. How did this deal come about? Well, it started last February when um, Tom Gallimberti and Dave Bolter from Nixon came to my office and said that Nixon was going to give the lease back to BC Rail. I asked them if they would consider giving it to Squamish instead. They went back to their folks that had a head office in Calgary and asked them. Uh, I went to Calgary and talked to them. They agreed to pursue that. So we kept on talking from February through until this fall and eventually made a deal with the help of the province to uh, secure the 71 acres for Squamish. It's very exciting and, and timely, I think, with our uh, uh, up put to um, 2010. Now, there will be some problems with this, Mayor. Uh, what what would you foresee as challenges? Well, there, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I, there aren't problems. There are challenges. I mean, we have, we, we have to make sure we develop the land properly. We're going to form a development land corporation that will do it at arm's length from city hall. We have to um, make sure that we, um, you know, have the revenue to support the development of the site. We have to uh, look after some long-term monitoring costs for the site. Um, but you know, all these are good things. I mean, we have a chance to turn 71 acres and put a hotel down here and a waterfront conference center down here, an art center down here. There's a, pub, there's a beach down at the end here that will become a public beach um, within a year. You know, and most people in Squamish don't know this beach down here. And most yeah. people in Squamish don't know if we have, even have a waterfront. So, you know, there are some challenges, but the upside is huge. Yes. And, um, and so you've touched on the huge and you've touched on what you foresee being down here. Um, but what else do you see down here? I guess my question is, we're still a long ways from the highway. And if we're going to draw people down here, what tools are we going to do use to, to bring people in? Well, I think, first of all, the waterfront walkway around the entire site is going to draw a lot of people in. I think we put down here some really nice um, business amenities, have a nice hotel down here, have some uh, a Granville Island type mix down here, restaurants, things going on, entertainment. You know, we're going to get people down here. That won't be a problem. I mean, just look around you. The, the, the scenery down here is beautiful. And people come down here to walk around and to do things and to shop and to have meals. You know, this will draw a lot of people. And do you believe this will revitalize the downtown, our present downtown then, or will this be just one more draw away from the present downtown? No, this is all part of the bigger picture. I mean, downtown still has to be redeveloped and it has to be revitalized, but this will get people, more people coming through the downtown, and, you know, as they go through the downtown. It's now the job of the merchants and other people to make sure that they offer a service down there that people want to take advantage of. And I know that there are um, several service uh, uh, sports groups who are interested in this water access um, the windsurfers and such, will that be part of the mix? Will that be part of the consideration? Oh, definitely. I mean, we have to you know, think of all that. The other thing we need to do is think of you know, a bigger marina down here for uh, pleasure craft. Um, the ferry terminal, we want to put down the very end down there for, um, for 2010 and also for you know, possibly commuter service between here and Vancouver for people going to and from the city. Pocket cruise ships would be another ideal thing for down here. So, you know, we're going to have all these things on a list. We're going to put them all together and we're going to come up with a plan that will, um, you know, this is probably the, the best piece of waterfront land left in the province of British Columbia. And we're going to turn this into a showcase that we can all be proud of. And the price for that was? One dollar. And the value of this land is? On the conservative side, $35 million and probably more like $100 million. So that, that is a, a pretty good deal then that you got, Mayor. That, not congratulations a bad, Not a there. bad deal. I mean, we do have some ongoing costs. We have the ongoing cost of the monitoring. We have some ongoing costs for um, for uh, potential liability, but we're going to know those numbers before the end of the year, and we'll put you know, a dollar figure to them. But, you know, this is this is a heck of a deal for Squamish. Okay, this deal is not without its controversies, though. No, that's and, true. Um, and I know that BC Rail workers feel that somehow they were sold out mm -hmm. by uh, the District of Squamish. Can you t speak to that? Sure. Well, first of all, this deal started back in February, as I said. This started long before we even knew BC Rail was going to be for sale. Um, you know, BC Rail, we were talking to the province. Um, Nexon was talking to the province. We made a very complicated three-way agreement between the province, Nexon, and the District of Squamish. Um, it had nothing to do with the BC Rail. BC Rail was going to was going to be transferred regardless of what happened with this land. It gave us a chance to talk to the province and get their interest in this project. You know, and I guess the flip side would be, you know, would we be, be better, any better off if I had said, you know what, don't give us the land. We don't want it. Because you know what, BC Rail is going to be transferred to CN anyway. Mm -hmm. So we had a chance to take advantage of the opportunity to talk to the province and get their attention and to make the deal. But you know, it, it, nothing, it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a sellout, it wasn't a, it wasn't a tip for tat. It was just simply the fact we had a, a chance to make 
our case, why this was a good thing for Squamish, and they recognize this is a good chance for economic development. And our job during this whole thing is try to have more jobs in Squamish a year from now than we have today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we lose the 24 jobs at BC Rail. Hopefully, we we'll hire 40 people down here to uh, work on this property, and we hire pe people to do other things in the community. What we're trying to do is have a net gain of jobs in the community. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, just before we go, any other things that you want to say about this land, this deal, or what? Well, I, I, I mean, I think the whole community, and I said at the council on Tuesday night, has to really thank Nexon for their help in doing this because you know Nexon has spent 45 million dollars cleaning up the site and look around you, and you know it's still being cleaned up. You know, 45 million dollars. They walked away from at least they have 65 years left on it. Mm -hmm. You know, they have done the district of Squamish a tremendous favor for the future, and you know their legacy will live on as Squamish forever. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time on this chilly day to come down and talk to us, and we are excited, and we'll be looking forward to all the developments as they come. Great. Look forward to it. Thank you.